Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Technomancer with your host, Nighthawk. We are over here at our fishing pier, and we're going to do a little bit more work over here, I think. Uh, specifically, I think I'd like to make a an area to this dock that comes back down right to water level, and we'll put some of these uh, pylons like this. Uh, Acting like they are, you know, flow the uh, dock will be floating on around those, but uh, the purpose is going to be for smaller boats, and we might even see if we can make a system that will hold the uh, regular boats in place for us. And first of all, we're going to. Is it already going? Oh no, there's a sun. For a second, I thought it was already getting dark. So what we're going to do is we're going to build out here a little ways with uh, the planks, just to give us a little bit of area, a little bit of uh, a platform to work from. And we're going to build down from right here. Yeah, whoops, not that way. We are... Whoop! And we are going to go swimming, apparently. I'm sure this will not be the only time that we end up swimming. So I think... Um, let's jump up here. Is that the right spot? Yeah, I think that's going to be the right spot. So we're going to go down to water level this way. And let's see, this should be ah, perfect. Like this. No, not like that. Like this is really difficult to do while swimming. I'm trying to place blocks while swimming with blocks that are kind of a little bit fiddly to get to place the way that you want them to in the first place. There we go. And now we can start extending that. And we need to make more. So let's get some more planks. That should do. And this is going to stay a fairly narrow dock here. I don't want it to be too wide at any point. Um, something else I did while we're looking at this here is I finished uh, tearing out that island a uh, fair ways down, and I had to do a little bit of work to fix the water. Where are he at? They must be in the caves directly underneath he here. I heard an enderman a minute ago. I didn't think the caves came that close to the surface, though. That's kind of annoying. Uh... I really didn't want to deal with the rain. But I don't think it's dark enough to sleep yet. So, hmm. Okay, so we're going to keep building out this way. And the goal here, if you've ever been to any of the marinas, the smaller boats uh, all typically are at, on docks that are right at water level, you know, just a little bit above water level, and frequently they have what are known as finger piers, which are basically, if we start, uh, here's a good spot, and this side, because it's close to the shore, is going to be really short, and it's basically just really small little fingers that go out into 
the water. And in this case, there would be a boat here, and it could tie up to uh, either one side, or if it was a little bit wider of a boat, then it might tie up to both sides. But there could be two smaller boats sitting side by side here that are tied up to each of these fingers. On the deep water side, and normally these would be just rows of these piers, and you wouldn't, you'd have something that shelters them from the main ocean. We might build something like that eventually. And let's say that these, this side is going to be for a little bit larger boats that we might end up with. So we're going to go a little, whoa. We're going to go bouncing around and swimming a few times here. Why does that? One, two, three, uh, I've lost here. One, two, three, four, five. So that's basically two and a half blocks wide for any boat, for a single boat in here. And one, two, three, four, five, two and a half by five. Let's make it six. Now let's make it seven so that it stays odd. Come over here. And let's make this one wider, or a little bit longer as well. And this, uh, this slot here, you could still fit a boat in here. Um, oh, before I forget, one thing that I did notice while I was working around out here a little bit ago is this furniture needs to be a different color. Right now it just blends in very, I mean, you can barely tell that it's there. The barrels, I might have to replace these pylons with something else as well. They kind of blend in as well, which I don't like quite as much as I'd like. They don't really fit quite as much as I'd like. They need to be a different color. They may stay the same color underwater just because that's a real pain to change them all the way down, but they do need to change. I'm thinking maybe spruce or maybe even some of those redwoods. Not sure yet. I suppose I really shouldn't do what I'm about to do, given that I want to change those either, but for the sake of completeness, we must do such things as these. So, come on. Oh, there we go. There we go. Looks like it's about the same. Whoa! I missed. Looks like that's about the same height. Why am I failing so miserably to get back up on my dock? Yeah, I think that's about right. Now, on most marinas, these pylons are not necessarily evenly spaced, so we don't have to have them exactly even. Uh, it does take up this particular slot, so we can put another uh, finger here. And again, we can't make the... we can start making these a little bit bigger, because we've got more water around here. But we have to give room for boats to come in and dock it right in this area. And you would never sail or bring your boat directly under this pier either. Oh, that's typically very shallow water. If we're going for any sense of realism anyway. And let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So one more out. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Perfect. And the other thing that is very common with marinas. Is a lot of swimming. Why am I failing so miserably to get... <laughs> this is one spot where the enhanced speed 
of the uh, power suit is really making it hard for me. Um, I'm not going to put any railing on the uh, piers down here. Most of the time, there aren't any extra... There's not any railings or anything like that on the well, on the docks as you're going out to a bunch of boats. There might be some... You might see some on the end segment right as it's going into the uh, some of the main piers, the bigger ones, but typically it's, you know, use, you have to actually use your head to move around on them so you don't fall in or anything like that. Two, three. And these are going to be, uh, these need to be a little bit bigger so that they're not just square. There we go. That still leaves plenty of room for boats to go through that way. And then on the end here, you'd park a boat right here and over here. And then you'd have a, you'd have a boat parked on the end here as well. Um, actually, let's see. Come to think of it. One, two, three, four, five. And out this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Whoa! And then... One, two, three... See, if I make this one the same size, then it's not going to have as much room to get around behind. Four, five, six... Although I guess that's... Well, if we had a boat parked here, then that's going to restrict the space. I might have to dig out this side a little bit here and make a little bit more room. Just to keep the... the some semblance of realism in our docks here. Um, if you have any ideas on what would work for the tie-downs, what could actually look like tie-downs as far as blocks go, I'd greatly appreciate those ideas. I am trying to stay away from using too much uh, micro-blocks in the, in the builds that I'm doing. Um, Alorum has mentioned that she's back, but I don't know if... Oh, yeah, still don't know if the... Get to that place right. Oh, it... No, it didn't. Um, there, it's still not clear if that means that she is going to be able to get uh, red power done for the uh, 1.5 mod packs or not. Oh. We're drowning. Um, regardless, we'll probably have to start over once we, uh, when we decide to actually upgrade to a later version of Minecraft. Uh, we'll kind of cross that bridge when we get there, but... Is that the right size? I think so. That might be one taller, but that's okay. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if... Uh, you know, it's not clear if Red Power is going to stay a part of the Feed the Beast mod pack. Uh, kind of depends on what, uh, from what Slowpoke has said and what I've heard from others. It's kind of, uh, Slowpoke doesn't want to make anyone, any of the mod developers, feel like they have to do keep things up to date. And uh, I know from what Alorm said, she's been quite busy with projects, so hasn't had as much time to develop as she used to, but uh, in any case, they are looking at other multi or, uh, micro block options, but I don't want to get too attached to the micro blocks, and it just takes a lot of time to use those too. 
anyway, that all being said, if you do have ideas on what would work and look really cool for the tie downs and not be too much work to make, then I'd greatly appreciate those ideas. Look at that creeper. Thinking he can creep around over there. We'll show him. Maybe. Now he just stands there. Ha ha ha. You're dead, creeper. So yeah, this is going to be our dock area. Now, what I would like to do is have a way of bringing a vanilla Minecraft boat and basically just sail in here and right click to get out of the boat and it will probably drop you in the water but it would guide the boat in with and bring it into dock without breaking it on the side here. Now I believe that if you come into the docks and there is, let's get rid of this guy, and there is wool that the boat runs into, as long as it's not going too fast, uh, it should be okay for it to run into that wool and it won't break. Where am I going? I just need to get close enough to the tree here that, there we go. So let's grab some wool. Oh, I picked up my uh, mining turtle that was sitting on the charger. It has 10 million fuel in it now. Oops, I missed. So I think the one that I want to have the Minecraft boats go into, because it's going to need a little bit more room. Trying to actually guide, oh, trying to guide a boat into one of these slots would be very difficult to do with any consistency. So I think it should be easy enough to do with the three wide. And I think if we were to put wool, and this even kind of looks like it belongs on the uh, pier anyway, just because it kind of looks like the uh, some of the stuff that is frequently used to provide buoyancy. There we go. Darn it, let me up. I need a splash dock of or something to make getting out of the water easier. Ooh, that's actually not a bad idea. So these smaller ones could actually be spots where we're going to need some scaffolding to work with here. This could be spots where something like a ski do or a jet ski or an upside down stair be somewhere where you just basically you ride the uh, jet ski just come up here and it just kind of beaches out uh, beaches itself onto this little ramp not quite as uh, smooth of a ramp as I would would have liked uh, would have been nice for in fact actually let's do this let's change those for full blocks Go like so. There we go. So yeah, you drive the uh, jet ski up, just drive it right into here, and basically it beaches itself onto the this little bit of a ramp, so you can securely park it, get off, and go do other things. Now, 
Now we have a little bit of a dock here. Let's try this out. I'm gonna make two boats just in, just for fun here. We're gonna get rid of this scaffolding material real quick. This might not be perfect over here, but it'll do for the moment. I might have to repair water flows in there. So let's set our boat in here. We sail out. Slow down. Sail out of our little marina. Go cruise around. Had a great day cruising around on the bay. Okay, it's time to come home. We'll turn around here. And we're going to cruise in nice and slow. Not too slow, decent pace here. We'll just kind of cruise around in here. Watch out for the ice. I might have to see if I can break out some of that ice or come up with a way to make sure that that ice doesn't keep coming back. And bunk. There we go. Of course we get dunked in the water as we jump out, but that's okay. Now what I we might be able to do is juggle the water flow right in here a little bit and try to make it so that we have a spot right in the middle that all of the water flow in this one little spot flows towards and try to do that without disrupting the water flow out here because we don't want to have flowing water out here at all but if we had water that once you got into this little mouth of this oh, pier here it would just flow right into the middle then we should still be able to uh, drive our boat out without getting stuck. And if you hear that kind of gurgling noise, that's just water from the uh, water from my washing machine being silly. Um, so yeah, we just sail in here. If we're not going too fast, we should be okay. Yep, it just bumps up against the wool and doesn't break. But we get dunked in the water as we get out. So, not ideal, but what happened? Did I end up pushing it? I must have ended up pushing it into... Man, it is so hard to stay on this dock with the... all these fast running things. I must have pushed it into the edge somehow. So let's grab some dirt and let's see if we can't do some adjusting of water flows here. Oops. So basically what I'm trying to do at the moment is give myself some scaffolding material that we can build on because in order to set up these water flows we're going to need to tweak where the source blocks are and main thing is we want to make sure that we don't lose source blocks right at the entrance here. So put that. And what we want is two spaces? Yeah, that should be okay. Okay, that made a source block there. Now you can see everything is flowing towards that middle spot which is what we want. So let's just take out the scaffolding dirt. And 
and then we'll give it a try. See, it doesn't go too far out. So if we place a boat... Whoa. Why you sink? That's weird. That's not at all what I wanted it to do. Kind of gets guided in there. And it should stabilize. Or maybe not. As long as it doesn't get thrown back out. Just sort of floats around there. I'm okay with it moving around a little bit inside that spot. As long as it will stay mostly in this area. And we can still get it out. We go cruise around. Come back in here. And let's say we had some speed. It's getting, it's staying pretty well stuck in that spot, so I think we've got it that pretty well sorted out. Not perfect. There are other ways that we could tweak these water flows just a little bit more to make it a little bit more stable, but our boat stays in place, so that's the main thing that I was trying to go for there. Now, I do know of some other designs that are shore, uh, completely shore-based designs to launch boats. And we may get into some of those later on as well. I, think I really think I need one more pylon here. Doesn't feel quite right. Maybe right here on the edge. Up we go. Go. Let's go ahead and put our jumping pants back on. I think that'll work. So, anyway, I think that's going to do it for this episode. And uh, let me know what you think of the the uh, fishing or the uh, not the fishing pier, but our little marina here. I think. I don't know if we can really build any boats that fit the, this size constraint and have anything interesting to them at this point, but uh, what we probably will look at doing in the future, and I'll fix this furniture later and some of these other little things, but what we will probably look at doing is building a couple of bigger ships. We may expand this pier out farther to make room so that this... Uh, these little docks here will have some room. May even expand it out far enough to have another row of them because I kind of like how this looks. And a couple of rows with uh, maybe some bigger ones that we can actually make a couple of smaller boats in would be kind of cool. I like the uh, little sea -Doo water ski or uh, jet ski dock there too. That's just kind of cool. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think, and if you have ideas for what we can use for the tie-downs, that would be uh, wonderful. And uh, we might even get into some more technical bits with uh, some shore-based launchers. The only problem with the launching systems is they do take up a fair bit of room, um, just because the mechanics of how they work require some space in order for them to actually get the boat going and be able to catch the boat properly when you sail into it. Uh, basically they, the ones that I'm thinking of are able to let, it will launch the boat out and when you sail the, uh, and actually get it sailing out into the water at uh, full speed actually as soon as it hits the water 
and when it come when you, the uh, boat comes in, even if it's going full speed, it will actually be able to stop the boat before it hits the end of the the uh, docking area, and uh, basically catches the boat so it doesn't uh, break at the end. So anyway, we I think we probably will take a look at those as well. Maybe not in this little area right here. But we may do something closer uh, over into the uh, swampy jungle area over there. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode again. Uh, please take a moment to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. And it uh, helps me out tremendously, and I greatly appreciate everybody's support. And I will completely miss my jumping target a few times. Let's go find somewhere dramatic to look at our fishing docks or our piers from. There we go. Perfect. And with that, I will see you guys next time. Have a great night. Bye.